Biovivacious. I am Sebastian. Biovivacious is a YouTube channel dedicated to clear fundamentals of biosciences and make the subject exciting. In an earlier session, we have seen that in the amino acid which is produced in our body, it has got many functions. It can become part of proteins. And sometimes amino acids are also used for synthesizing small molecules. One example we have seen as glutathione. Another example is synthesizing creatine. Because creatine has an important role in our body in order to preserve and store energy in the form of creatine phosphate. Let us see how this is synthesized. So, uh, in this, in the, in this, we will write the steps first. So, it starts with uh, arginine. So, look at the number of amino acids that are taking place in this synthesis. Arginine uh, is acted upon by glycine. So, glycine is added to arginine and what happens is ornithine is removed. Ornithine is removed and uh, a product called guanidoacetate. Guanidoacetate is formed. Now, uh, you are familiar with the structure of arginine, familiar with the structure of glycine, familiar with the structure of ornithine. So, let us write down the structure of guanidoacetate. So, guanidoacetate is this. portion that will come from arginine and this is a portion that will come from glycine and this is catalyzed by an enzyme known as arginine glycine transaminidase trans so we produce guanidoacetate once guanidoacetate is formed now the next step now this next step is uh, catalyzed by an enzyme known as Guanido acetate methyl transferase methyl transferase so therefore a methyl group is added and you know that the methyl donor is s adenosyl methionine so this s adenosyl methionine once the methyl group is transferred is becomes s adenosyl homocysteine it forms s adenosyl homocysteine so what is the product that you are getting is creatinine creatine you will get creatine so let us write down the structure of creatine creatine is formed in in liver now from liver this can be transported to muscle and then what happens is you can add uh, atp molecules to creatine adp and you can make creatine phosphate so energy rich molecule minus 10.3 kilocalories of energy per mole so what is the structure of creatine phosphate so so remember this squiggle we put it in order to show that it is conserving energy So this is creatine phosphate. Okay, so this is how energy is conserved. This will occur in the muscle. Creatine phosphate is stored. Now, um, creatine phosphate, after the energy is released, what can happen is uh, in muscle, so after the, once the energy is gone, so it will be, it can undergo dehydration. Okay, so I, once it undergoes dehydration, what will happen is uh, it will form a cyclic structure and the cyclic structure is what is known as creatinine. So the structure is like this. This is the structure in CH3. So here CNH. Okay, so this cyclic structure is formed, which is creatinine. Now, um, and normally it is released into blood, 
and we will be able to estimate the concentration of creatinine. So, um, you know, clearing creatinine is an indication of how well the kidneys are functioning. Normal uh, serum creatinine level is uh, about 0 0.9 to 1.4 milligram percentage. You would have learned that, you know, this is an indication if the level increases, it is an indication of the, the status of the kidney. So, uh, creatine clearance, so let us put it creatine clearance, which is indicative of the, which is almost equal to glomerular filtration rate. So, this can be calculate, calculated by the following formula. So, urine creatinine divided by divided by so this will be in milligram uh, per liter divided by the plasma creatinine okay multiplied by either urine volume urine volume per unit time Okay, it may be 24 hours or whatever it is. So this is the formula which is used for calculating creatine clearance. So this is another, so we have been discussing about how amino acid can be used for synthesizing various molecules. You have seen that how uh, many amino acids, uh, for example, amino acids like arginine, uh, methionine, um, uh, you know glycine all these amino acids are utilized for synthesizing creatine or creatinine in order to preserve or conserve energy